Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a soil mechanics problem, and in particular, this is an effective and total stresses problem. And uh, today we're going to solve for the total effective or the vertical effective stress of uh, points A and B here. Let's go ahead and read the question. Uh, it says, which answer below most nearly resembles the vertical effective stresses of uh, points A and B in the figure respectively? Uh, it gives us options there. And um, I mean, really, we're going to solve this problem before we even have to solve for B, but it's good practice to understand what pore pressure is and uh, how it contributes to the problem. Uh, so we see that it gives us gamma, gamma sat. I mean, we're, we're good to go on this. So uh, if you're looking for the equations, you can look in the FE. Uh, it's going to be in page 263. Okay, uh, and the PE you're going to be in 92. Now the PE uh, I think doesn't include a formula, so uh, you you'll kind of have to know this uh, for the test. You'll kind of have to understand it. But the good thing is it's an easy formula to understand. Uh, we have the total effective stress is equal to your vertical effective stress minus your pore pressure. That's all that is. So uh, let's go ahead and do A real quick so the vertical or the total effective stress of uh, a or vertical this is also vertical because we're using our vertical uh, stress here so it's vertical um, is equal to your vertical of stress at a minus your pore pressure at a okay so what this means is um, we got to solve for our vertical effective stress first. So for A, that is going to be 110 pounds per cubic foot. And we're going to multiply that by the depth or the height, however you want to look at it. And that looks like it's 30 minus 10. So that's 20 feet. So now we're looking at this guy. So 20 feet. Okay. Minus our pore pressure, it looks like it's on the water table. So that means that its pore pressure is zero because it is actually on the water. It's at the top. Like there's no pressure. It's open to the atmosphere. So that's going to be zero. And so your, ver your vertical effective stress at A is going to be uh, 2,200 uh, pounds per square foot okay so there's a we see that you know a a is going to be the answer i mean that that's just how it's going to be so for the vertical effective stress of b let's get some practice here here's the formula you're going to need and uh when we're looking at it we need to kind of add our layers so the first layer is going to be 110 pounds per cubic foot times 20 feet. And the reason why it's 20 feet is because we have to go through this entire uh, section of that 110. So the right where I marked it earlier, this right here, we have to go through that entire section first. So we did that. Now we have to go to our next section, which is the 120. So now we're looking at this section here. Uh, we're going to have to multiply that by 10. So 120 pounds per cubic foot. Always write down your units, by the way. Uh, times 10 feet. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down here. Uh, let's see if we can get the... There we go. Uh, we have our figure in range so now let's keep going let's keep this train rolling uh, now we're going to do that 130 so now we're looking at this portion here okay so you're going to do 130 pounds per cubic foot uh, we're going to multiply that by 10 okay 
Uh, now we need to subtract our pore pressure. And what pore pressure is, is it's the pressure underwater, right? So the uh, specific weight of water is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. Okay. Now we need to multiply it by the depth. That was a bad parenthesis. Uh, we need to multiply it by the depth of how how deep is B in water, right? So that's the way that you need to think of it. Don't think of it in layers. Don't. We're just looking at it under the water table. So we're looking at this right here, and that's it. That's all we're worried about. So we have 10 plus 10, and that is 20, according to my calculations. So we're going to write 20 feet right there okay so let's solve for that guy I ended up with uh, my prime VB I ended up with that guy being 34 52 pounds per square foot and so sure enough it is guess what it is a so hey, I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.